In Dreams We Weave, Unveiling the Essential Role of Sleep. Welcome, dear listeners, to yet another episode of Information for Life, Insights and Ideas to Navigate Your World. Tonight, or today, depending on where this finds you, we shall embark on an exploration, not of the outer cosmos, but of an intimate internal universe, the world of sleep. Ever pondered about sleep? It's a funny thing, really. We spend about a third of our lives doing it. Some of us relish it, others resist it. Yet all of us, without exception, need it. It's as if we're sailors on the sea of wakefulness, periodically anchoring our ships in the harbor of sleep, sheltering from the tempests of existence. Sleep, the forgotten frontier. Historically, sleep has been the forgotten frontier of our biological understanding, often regarded as a passive state, a simple respite from our waking lives. But in truth, sleep is an intricate symphony of biological processes, a nightly ballet performed by our neurons, hormones, and bodily systems. And this dance, as it turns out, plays a crucial role in almost every facet of our health, well-being, and functioning. Beneath the Veil of Sleep The veil of sleep conceals a rich tapestry of biological and neurological activity. Our brains, far from switching off, engage in a sweeping array of tasks. They consolidate memories, clear out toxins, process emotional experiences, and engage in a host of reparative processes. Sleep has a profound impact on our cognitive functioning, from attention and learning to decision-making and creativity. It's like the night shift crew that comes in after the store closes, cleaning up the mess, restocking the shelves, and preparing for the next day's business. So if you've ever wondered why you can't seem to think straight after a poor night's sleep, well, it's because your night shift crew didn't get the job done. Sleep and physical health. Beyond cognitive functioning, sleep plays a pivotal role in our physical health as well. It's instrumental in immune function, metabolism, appetite regulation, cardiovascular health, and even our genes expression. Insufficient sleep over time can predispose us to a constellation of health issues, from obesity and diabetes to heart disease and weakened immunity. But what about the spirit, the heart, the self? Sleep, you see, is as important to our emotional well-being as it is to our physical health. It impacts our mood, our resilience to stress, our emotional balance, and, as emerging research suggests, even our propensity to experience mental health issues. Like a nighttime melody, sleep weaves its notes into the music of our emotions, coloring our feelings and experiences. The Enigma of Dreaming And then, there's the enigma of dreams. These strange, surreal narratives that unfold in the theater of our minds. Dreams, though still largely mysterious, are thought to play a role in emotional processing, creativity, and problem-solving. They're like the abstract art of our subconscious minds. Cryptic, perplexing, yet inherently meaningful. Why sleep matters. Now, if all this makes you think that sleep is pretty important, well, you'd be right. Yet, in our fast-paced, always-on society, sleep is often the first sacrifice at the altar of productivity. We seem to labor under the illusion that sleep is a luxury, not a necessity, an expendable commodity, not a vital resource. This, dear listeners, is a dangerous fallacy. Robbing ourselves of sleep doesn't make us more productive. On the contrary, it diminishes our cognitive functioning, impairs our health, and shortchanges our emotional well-being. We might gain a few extra hours in the day, but at what cost? To continue the analogy, imagine our night shift crew working overtime, day after day, night after night. They become weary, less efficient, and eventually they might not show up at all. The result? A store in disarray. Just as we can't run a machine indefinitely without maintenance, we can't run our bodies and minds without sufficient sleep. So let's not scorn sleep, but rather embrace it for the vital function it serves. Restoring our sleep. How then do we ensure that we're getting the sleep our bodies and minds so desperately need? There are several strategies we can employ to enhance our sleep quality and quantity. First, try to maintain a consistent sleep schedule. Our bodies run on an internal clock known as the circadian rhythm. By sticking to a regular sleep-wake schedule, we can keep this clock finely tuned, helping us fall asleep and wake up more easily. Next, create a restful sleep environment. This means a cool, dark, quiet room, preferably devoid of electronic devices. These devices, apart from being potential distractions, emit a type of light that can interfere with our natural sleep-wake cycle. Physical activity can also promote better sleep, as can avoiding large meals, caffeine, and alcohol close to bedtime. It's also beneficial to establish a relaxing pre-sleep routine, such as reading, meditating, or taking a warm bath. 
This signals to your body that it's time to wind down and prepare for sleep. Lastly, if you're struggling with chronic sleep issues, it's crucial to seek professional help. Conditions like insomnia and sleep apnea are not only detrimental to your sleep, but can also have serious health implications if left untreated. Conclusion Sleep, dear listeners, is not a passive state, but an active, vital process. It's not a luxury, but a necessity. It's not a waste of time, but rather a profound investment in our health, cognition, and emotional well-being. It's as integral to our lives as eating, breathing, or moving. So let us honor sleep for the essential role it plays. Let us respect it, prioritize it, and reap the bountiful rewards it has to offer. For in the realm of sleep we find not just rest, but rejuvenation. Not just respite, but renewal. And so, as we bring this episode to a close, I wish you a good day, a better night, and the best of sleep. May you sail smoothly on the sea of wakefulness, anchor securely in the harbor of sleep, and awaken refreshed, rejuvenated, and ready to navigate your world. This concludes our voyage into the heart of sleep, its mysteries and its marvels. From all of us at Information for Life, Insights and Ideas to Navigate Your World, thank you for being a part of this exploration. Remember to treasure sleep, to seek it, to respect it, for it is indeed the golden chain that ties our health and our bodies together. Until the next time we meet on this journey of understanding and discovery, stay curious, stay rested, and above all, stay engaged.